Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Patrick. And I'm Andy. And today we're letting you know why Disney World is way better than Disneyland. We might have a bias because we got married at Walt Disney World, photo here. But before you send us that hate mail, we also did a video on 10 reasons why Disneyland is better than Disney World. So you can click on the link down below. Before we begin, I wanted to let you know that we are traveling the world this year and we are trying to hit up every single Disney park. So make sure you're subscribed. It's totally free. It really helps us grow and you won't miss those adventures. Number one, the entertainment. This is probably the thing that Andy and I love most about Walt Disney World. Because there's a ton of space in Florida, they have a lot more room to play with shows and nighttime spectaculars. And also, they're not close to any city center like they are in Anaheim for Disneyland. There's no restrictions on how much noise they can make and what time they put off fireworks. So there's a lot of great shows there like Happily Ever After at Magic Kingdom, Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios, and even the Epcot show, which I'm totally blanking on the name of. Illumination, Harmonious, Epcot World of Color. Maybe one of those will be it. <laughs> yeah, the same thing. Wrong, he was so wrong. And not just the nighttime spectaculars, but they also have a lot more land for shows during the day. So things like Frozen Ever After and Indiana Jones Stunt Show. Those types of things that you wouldn't get at Disneyland because they're so limited on space. Because of the space restrictions, things like Fantasmic, which are both at Disneyland and Disney World, are very different. So Disney World, they have this gigantic set just for Fantasmic, and you can really get an appreciation for the show and the scale of it. Versus at Disneyland, it's much, much smaller. As well as Patrick mentioned, we actually went to Disneyland on a weekday. So we saw zero fireworks during our entire trip to Disneyland. Versus when we go to Disney World, we'll see fireworks pretty much every single night, except for and Kingdom because of the animals there. Number two, Disneyland might have more rides per capita than Disney World, but Disney World has a lot of new rides. So you have Flight of Passage in Animal Kingdom, you have Tron Roller Coaster in Magic Kingdom, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is opening, and you also have the best Disney ride of all time, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Number three is theming. Yes, Disneyland does a great job of theming, but because of their space constraints, sometimes it doesn't really feel like the new parts that they're adding into the park fit into the overall theme. An example of this is Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. He built the Adventureland, Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, etc. And then they wanted to add Galaxy's Edge, so they didn't know where to put it, either in DCA or in Disneyland, so they just said, Let's just throw it into the back of Disneyland. Versus parks like Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, they really knew exactly where they were going to put Pandora, they knew exactly where they were going to put Galaxy's Edge, and it really fits into the theme of the park. So you can go into either of those parks and really see that connection. Number four transportation. So yes, it is Disney World and they need transportation. But the way in which they do it there is super cool and it kind of feels like a ride in and of itself. So you have the Skyliner, which is a cable car that takes you between Epcot and Hollywood Studios, as well as the Riviera Hotel. You have the buses, which go all throughout the resort and you have boats. So there's a boat that takes you from a hotel to Magic Kingdom. There's boats that take you from hotels to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. And it's just a really cool feeling to be at a theme park and then take that type of transportation somewhere. Some people describe the monorail or the ferry to Magic Kingdom as the first ride they'll ride for the entire day. So that's such a cool feeling to just know that, you know, before you even get into the parks, you're already on a quote unquote ride. But pro tip, yes, the monorail and the ferry boat is super cool, but if you want to get to Magic Kingdom quicker, take the bus. It drives up right next to it. Number five, the hotels at Disney World outweigh the ones at Disneyland, both in quality and quantity. So in terms of quality, Disney World just has really great themed hotels and they range in budget from value resorts all the way to deluxe resorts and they all have wonderful theming. We've stayed at All Star Movies and that was really cool because you had the fantastic pool, you had all that movie theming throughout the hotel. And at the deluxe resorts like Animal Kingdom Lodge, you really get this unique experience that's hard to replicate anywhere else. You can actually get a view of the savannah and see giraffes from your hotel room. 
And in terms of quantity, Disney World has 25 different hotels compared to three at Disneyland. Now, if you're looking at the hotels and getting sticker shock, our recommendation is to go with Disney Vacation Club or DVC. We have a DVC membership, but if you don't, our recommendation is to rent points. These are when people with DVC memberships like us don't want to use the points, so they rent them out to other people. You can save up to 60% off your stay, and that is not a joke. We do comparisons all the time on DVC rental store and that is how much you can actually save. So if you want that Savannah View room, don't pay a thousand dollars. Go with DVC Rental Store. We're including a link down below. You will not regret it. So number six is location. And what we mean by this is where Disney World is located. Again, it's not in a city center, but it is extremely close to the Orlando International Airport. So it's super easy for people to hop on a flight, go there, and when you land, there's a lot of options to get to the resort or to the theme parks. So what we like to do is take an Uber ride and we find it super inexpensive to do it. It's about 25 to 30 minutes away and it costs around around $30. Now, if you compare that to our trip to Los Angeles a few weeks ago, we actually paid $90 for an Uber ride to go to Disneyland. Number seven, while this isn't a theme park, it is one of the best shopping experiences you will ever have at a Disney property, and that is Disney Springs. Disneyland has downtown Disney, but we were quite shocked at how small it was. We had budgeted half a day to visit downtown Disney, and we probably walked the entire thing in an hour. So Disney Springs, on the other hand, is much bigger. There's tons more restaurants, a lot more entertainment, a lot more shopping. There's an AMC movie theater, there's a bowling alley, and best of all, there is a brand new drone show that is completely free for all guests, and we cannot wait to see it. We hear amazing things. Number eight, the prices in Disney World are generally cheaper than Disneyland. Examples of this are the 15% transient tax that gets charged for any hotel room in Anaheim, which you don't get at Disney World. The sales tax in Florida is also cheaper than the sales tax in California. And when we looked at food prices in general, we looked at a few staples that we always get when we go to Disney. Things like Dole Whip, our morning cold brew at the Starbucks on Main Street for both locations. When you looked at prices for both of them, they were actually five to 10% cheaper in Florida than in California. And while five to 10% might not sound like a lot, when you have a large family and the vacation costs thousands of dollars per person, five to 10% adds up really quickly. Number nine, this is an obvious one, but it needs to be stated. Disney World has four theme parks versus Disneyland's two. Now, while that comes with its cons, like getting around and needing more time to be there, you can have a whole vacation, spend 10 days there with your entire family and still not see everything in the theme parks. So comparable to Disneyland, Disneyland is very similar to Magic Kingdom in Disney World, and Hollywood Studios is very similar to Disney's California Adventure. But then on top of that, you have Animal Kingdom for all those animal lovers in your family, and you also have Epcot, which is a fantastic time learning and traveling the world in just one location at World Showcase. Disney World is more of a vacation destination, and it's really accommodating for families. And finally, number 10 is sort of a culmination of all of the things that we've said so far, but Disney World is just that, it's a world. There are not just theme parks. There's shopping centers, there's 18 hole golf, there's mini golf, like we said, there's bowling alley, movie theater, there's tons of bars and restaurants throughout all of the resorts, and there's tons of free transportation options to get you to all of this. And this may be cheating because it's not technically Disney, but because of the size of Disney and the number of tourists that they attract to Orlando. You also have other companies like Universal building their third park there now to get some of those visitors away from Disney and into Universal. So you and the entire family have so many options when you go to this massive city that is Orlando. And the theme park wars only benefit us. And there you have it. Disney World is way better than Disneyland until you watch our other video link down below. Which park do you prefer, Disneyland or Disney World? Comment down below and let us know. And with that, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.